be one of those aesthetic art people. Hi guys! So today I thought that it would be really fun to do a little studio vlog. I know these have been all over YouTube and I've really been enjoying watching them myself. And so I wanted to take you guys on on a little I wanted to take you guys with me on a art-filled day. Um, so today is Sunday, so I don't have my regular job. I'm going to be working on YouTube stuff and art stuff pretty much all day. So I'm super excited to take you guys with me and show you everything. So it is 10 o'clock and I am literally about to have a meeting um, on Discord. So if you don't know, I do run a Discord server for art YouTubers here on YouTube. Um, as long as you have a YouTube channel with at least one art video on it, you can join. Um, so we're going to have a moderator meeting to discuss the future of the channel and some things that we want to do, some things that we want to launch, that kind of stuff. So I am at my desk. I have my refresher because I don't drink coffee but I get these off Amazon and they have caffeine in them they're really good mm. yum and I'm late for the meeting so um, I'm gonna pay attention to the rest of the moderators now little girl <laughs> just got done with the meeting it was like an hour and 45 minutes but it was our first meeting like all of us uh mods and admins and everything like getting together and just kind of discussing where we want the server to go and what we want it to look like um we recently like added on three new mods hello <laughs> hi did you come over to say hello or hello She's so cute. Um, so it's the first time that we have like really sat down and talked since we got all the new mods here and uh, almost all of us were able to make it. So it was great. We got a lot of really good ideas and a lot of changes that we're going to make. So I'm going to work on those a little bit later today. But I am hungry. This one is needy. So I think I'm going to make a little bit of food and then I have some art stuff to do it today. I have a commission that I'm going to be working on, kind of getting some sketches done. So I think I'm going to work on that. And then I have some like emails that I need to follow up on and stuff like that. Do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk, East Desi? <gasps> yeah, let's go! outside and I am way too hot so I have my ski jacket tied around my waist. <laughs>
Okay, so I just got back from taking Desi on her walk, and now I'm so hungry, so I really need some food. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm really bad about eating in the mornings. It's just not something that's like, I'm not usually that hungry in the mornings, to be honest. Sometimes I eat a little bit of cereal, but I didn't today, so I'm super hungry, and I'm going to make some food. I don't know what yet, though. Um... I guess I'll just have to see what I have. <laughs> you know how those other um, studio vlogs all have like really aesthetic shots of people pouring like tea and coffee and socially acceptable drinks? Well here, enjoy my aesthetic shot of me pouring myself some Coke Zero. <laughs> and now that I'm officially done being extra, um, maybe, let's make some food. <laughs> So while my quesadilla is cooking, I think I'm going to import um, the files that I have so far from this studio vlog um, and get them in, maybe start doing a little bit of editing on the beginning of this, I'm not really sure. Um, and then I'm gonna eat my quesadilla, I'm so excited. Also, I am munching on these while I'm waiting for my quesadilla and they're so yummy, I love these cookies. Okay, my food is ready. I'm super excited. It's just like a um, quesadilla from Trader Joe's, a frozen quesadilla, um, and vegetables, and I'm excited. Um, but I um, asked on Instagram if you guys had any questions for me, um, so I thought that would be like a good thing to do and I could like answer some of your questions while I eat my lunch. So. Yeah, we're gonna do a little Q&A, a lunchtime Q&A. If my chair would stop spinning, that would be great. <laughs> the first question is from Queen B, X underscore Queen underscore B underscore. And they ask, what's your favorite and least favorite thing to draw? My favorite thing to draw, probably people, even though I'm not like that good at it, like female people, female figures. <laughs> um, and my least favorite thing to draw, I don't really enjoy drawing buildings. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I don't tend to draw a lot of like architecture or inanimate objects. Millie underscore Shaw underscore 6464 asks, what watercolors do you recommend for beginners? Um, I recommend the Van Gogh watercolors um, or the Kiritaki, Ganze, Tambi, it's a very long name. Um, I feel like I'm still missing one. Kiritaki? No, I said that one. Kiritaki Gansi Tambi? I think that's right. Watercolors. Um, I will link them in the description box. Lucia Arts says, how do you store watercolor paints? Just have just have a hundred of them in a drawer. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. They're just in a shoe box. So. Lucia Arts also asks, asks, how often are you planning to be on Twitch? Um, I don't know. Right now it's kind of hard because I just don't have a permanent setup for Twitch right now. Um, so things are just kind of, I really enjoy streaming on Twitch and I want to stream multiple times a month for sure. Um, but I don't know what my schedule is going to look like yet. I'm hoping that I can finalize it a lot more. I'm in the process of hopefully moving over the next like three months. Um, three, four months, I am going to be moving, so I'm hoping to get, like, a bigger studio and, like, more of a permanent setup for streaming and filming and stuff like that, so after that, hopefully things will be a lot more regular. Gracie Grace 15 says, how do you organize all your finished art? So, I don't. <laughs> um, my art, okay, I'm not really good at organizing my finished art. Um, I essentially keep my art in, like, two different places. I have a binder folder thing. It's around here somewhere. I'll show you. Hey, December. Just trying to eat my food. Okay, so for smaller pieces, I store them in this. I got this from Target. Um, and it, inside there's like all of these different file folders. December, do not eat my quesadilla. There's all these different file folders and I just have like all of these pieces in here. So anything that is smaller, 
I keep in here. And then, no, I can't get it back in. Um, and then for larger pieces, um, I just have like a big portfolio, black portfolio, like the kind that you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I just keep them all in there and I keep that under my desk. Um, so, uh, Art by AJ asks, why is December so cute? I don't know. She's just so adorable and wonderful. Um, Tifawa asks, does having a clean studio inspire you to create or when you're surrounded by art supplies? Um, kind of somewhere in the middle. So, like, my studio is pretty cluttered. There's a lot of stuff around, but I like it to be tidy. If it's tidy, then I feel like I can create and I can focus, but if it's just, like, really messy, that does stress me out and distract me. So, I like things to kind of have a home and be in that home. It's okay if things look a little cluttered as long as I know where all the things are. Like, I have some things that are kind of stored in weird places right now, but I know where they are, that's their home, and that's okay. So, yeah, kind of somewhere in the middle. Artemis B1013 wants to know what the most challenging piece I've ever completed is. Um, I think that my six swans piece, or seven swans, I don't know why I'm having a moment there. Um, I think that was quite challenging. Um... There was a lot of like new things that I did in that that I hadn't done before and it was very mentally and emotionally challenging because I was really pushing myself um, for that and it also I feel like showed me what I can do and what I'm capable of so it's kind of something that I, ins I aspire to a little bit more was like that piece so. Um, M. Lindsay wants to know what breed of doggo I have. She's a Border Collie Blue Healer mix. And then the last question I'm going to answer in this, like, little Q&A, just because I don't want the video to be too long, is um, Sifra Mersalina asks, how do you paint shadows with watercolors? And I just make sure to use uh, a cooler tone, um, not necessarily always purple. Um, you can use blue or green, uh, just to kind of push that shadow back. And I try to build it up in a lot of thin layers so that the shadows have depth as well. Um, so hopefully that helps. It's kind of hard without an actual visual reference, but this is kind of my, like, immediate, uh, thoughts. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this quesadilla now. For next week and kind of wrote on my calendar a little bit and I think the next thing I want to do is I'm going to do my chores that I do every day so I'm gonna tidy for 20 minutes make my bed wipe down the surfaces in my apartment and do my dishes and then after I've done that I'm gonna sit down and do a bunch of drawing
but been doing a bunch of stuff. I did a bunch of chores. I cleaned, I washed my bedding, I vacuumed, and then I have been working just on a sketch for the commission. It's kind of where I'm at so far. And um, I am going to be leaving here in about 15 minutes to go to my yoga class because um, it's Sunday night and I go to yoga on Sunday nights. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I have a friend that's joining me tonight, so that should be fun. Um, and I've just been like watching that 70s show and relaxing and it's been nice. So yeah, I'm gonna just sketch with this a little bit more. Oh, and I had a dinner. I ordered, I Postmates pizza, but then they like brought me the wrong pizza and I was kind of like, oh, but it was still good. But uh, yeah, um, <laughs> what was I saying? I'm just gonna keep drawing until it's time for me to go and the yun yoga. And then I'll be back and it'll probably be pretty late, so I don't know how much more I will do once I get back, but we'll see. Hello! So, okay, it is nearly 10 o'clock, I think. Um, yeah, it's 9.51. Um, so I got done with yoga at like 8.15, but then me and my friend were just hanging out and talking for like a really long time after, and then I was, I talk called my other friend Lisa on the way home just to, um, chat with her, and then we talked for like another hour, so yeah, I did finish up my sketch that I was working on while I was on the phone with Lisa, which I think I showed you, should have showed you guys before, um, and that's kind of where I'm at, so... I didn't get everything done today that I wanted to get done. I would have liked to have maybe filmed a video, but I ended up doing a little more cleaning than I planned on doing, so that's okay. Um, I did, I guess I filmed this video, <laughs> so yay. Um, and I was going to edit it tonight, It's like, but it's like 10 o'clock and I want to go to bed around 11, like I want to be asleep at 11, so I think I'm just going to wind down, kind of put on a face mask, curl up in bed, read my book, so I can like just get a good night's sleep and be ready to start tomorrow. So I think I'm going to end the studio vlog here. Um, if you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about studio vlogs. Um, I feel like, I don't know if this was interesting or not. Oh, I did the Q&A too. I don't know if this is interesting or not. I'm not like, I don't package things because I don't like run my own shop, but I do do some artsy stuff throughout the day. I don't know if it's interesting to watch, but I figured I would try it. If you guys don't like it, I don't have to do any more. But I had fun um, vlogging today, so let me know if you want to see more of these. Um, and that's it. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys! <laughs>